Hey, most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Here we are going to discuss top 10 famous women mathematicians through the ages 1. Hypatia, 370-415 Hypatia is the first woman known to have taught mathematics. Most consider her to be the first female to have made a significant contribution to mathematics. Hypatia was trained by her father, Theon of Alexandria, a famous scholar who edited Euclid's mathematical treatise, Elements. They collaborated on commentaries of famous mathematical works, and Hypatia is believed to have developed commentaries of her own. Eventually, she replaced her father as the leading mathematician of Alexandria. Hypatia was also an accomplished astronomer and perhaps best known as a Neoplatonist philosopher. Neoplatonism was a strand of Platonic philosophy that began in the 3rd century. 2. Sophie Germain, 1776-1831 Sophie Germain battled gender discrimination on multiple fronts. Although she was denied a career in mathematics, she worked independently making significant contributions to the field. Germain's interest in mathematics began around the age of 13 when the French Revolution began and she was confined to her home. As a result, she spent a great deal of time in her father's library, which sparked an interest in mathematics. Her parents tried to stop her, even going as far as denying her a fire in her room to make her stay in her bed at night. However, she hid blankets and candles so that she could study. Her parents eventually relented, and Germain was free to study advanced topics like differential calculus. She even taught herself Latin and Greek so that she could study classic mathematical works. When Germain turned 18, the École Polytechnique was founded in Paris to train mathematicians and scientists. She couldn't enroll because of her gender, but she obtained lecture notes and later submitted a paper to J.L. Lagrange, a prominent mathematician, using the name of a previously enrolled male student. He was impressed and, after finding out her identity, agreed to tutor her. Germain studied alongside Lagrange and other leading thinkers. Her greatest achievement is her work on Fermat's last theorem. Her analysis was used to solve the problem nearly two centuries later. Germain was the first woman to receive a prize from the Paris Academy of Sciences for her work on elastic theory. 3. A.D.A. Lovelace, 1815-1852 A.D.A. Lovelace is well known for her contributions to computing. She is a mathematician and writer, who is considered to be the first computer programmer. Lovelace never knew her father, the poet Lord Byron. Shortly after her birth, Lovelace left England with her mother, who insisted that her daughter would not become a poet. Instead, Lovelace would be privately tutored, an unusual education for a woman at the time, to become a mathematician and scientist. When Lovelace was a teenager, she began a long working relationship with Professor Charles Babbage, who was working on what he called the analytical engine. It would be the precursor to the modern computer. Babbage and others were focused on how the engine could crunch numbers but Lovelace noticed the potential for more. In her translations, she went beyond the task also supplying notes about the machine, such as the possibility of computer-generated musical compositions. She also added a computer-based algorithm for calculating Bernoulli numbers, which earned her the title as the first computer programmer. 4. Sofia Kovalevskaya, 1852-1891 Sofia Kovalevskaya was the first woman to obtain a doctorate in mathematics. Her impact led historian Anhidna Koblitz to call Kovalevskaya the greatest known woman scientist before the 20th century. In the book A Convergence of Lives, Sofia Kovalevskaya, scientist, writer, revolutionary, Kovalevskaya's father provided her with private tutoring, which included calculus at the age of 15. 
However, he didn't let her travel abroad to further her education. And Russian universities didn't accept female students. To escape these barriers, Kovalevskaya entered a marriage of convenience with a paleontology student, and they headed to Heidelberg, Germany. She began her studies there, and years later, she moved to Berlin and received private lessons with Karl Weierstrass, often referred to as the father of modern analysis. Kovalevskaya became the first woman to receive a doctorate in mathematics after presenting three papers to the University of Göttingen. They covered partial differential equations, the dynamics of Saturn's rings, and elliptic integrals. The university was so impressed that it awarded her the doctorate without the need for oral examination and classes. At Stockholm University, Kovalevskaya became the first woman in Europe to hold a position as full professor. The French Académie Royale des Sciences awarded her the Prix Bordeno Award for her work on Saturn's rings. 5. Emmy Noether, 1882-1935 Emmy Noether has been described by her contemporaries as the greatest woman mathematician, and that assessment may hold today. Noetha was born to a Jewish family. Her father, Max Noether, founded algebraic geometry and was described by physicists Leon Liedemann and Christopher Hill as one of the finest mathematicians of the 19th century in their book Symmetry and the Beautiful Universe. Emmy Noether followed in her father's footsteps, obtaining a doctorate for a dissertation on algebraic invariants. However, she battled discrimination, as it was virtually impossible for German women to obtain academic positions. She instead lectured for no pay and then received an unofficial position as a professor until the Nazi government dismissed Jews from university positions. Noether accepted a position at Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania, where she taught until her death. Her mathematical career spanned three periods, according to mathematician Hermann Weyl. The first period involved insights into algebraic invariants and number fields. Several of her concepts were included in Einstein's general theory of relativity. In the second period, she altered abstract algebra with a classic paper on the theory of ideals in commutative rings. The third period covered her interest in non-communicative algebra, which was spearheaded by two major publications published in the German mathematical journal Mathematisches Eitrif. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Triangular Kamal.